problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. This video is sponsored by Best One. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a real product, but they did not ask me to do this. I simply saw it on the shelf and I felt I hadn't done a pro tabletop product ad in a while and I felt like, hey, you know what? This looks promising. Let's see what I can come up with. And I did crap. The real sponsors of this video should actually be pixels.com because most of the stock footage that I used to spice it up and make up for the parts that I was too lazy to shoot came from some of the footages that were on their platform. And so special thanks to these contributors because they were the ones who put this footage and for us to be able to use for free. But now let's get into how I made this bundle of nonsense. I had no plan whatsoever going into this project. All I had was a theme and that theme I got from the lightning bolt that's in front of. I should be showing you this um, lightning bolt right here. So, you know, what comes to mind? Lightning, storm, rain. So I knew I'll be working with water, maybe some lightning effects and that was it pretty much. And so I woke up at 3.30 a.m. and I just decided to start shooting with no plan and well, so half of the ad is stock footage and the other half is actually footage that I shot. The main light that I used or the key light that I used is a 650 watts Fresnel tungsten light, it's a generic brand. I also had this small um, on-camera shotgun LED light and then the touch light on my phone, that was it for lights. I knew I'll be doing a lot of movements in the edit, like reframing and zooming in and zooming out. So I went with the Blackmagic 6K because it has 6K resolution and also for the raw uh, codec. And that was alongside the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter f1.8 lens. I shot everything on an f5.6 because I wanted it to be very sharp and also I wanted uh, the subject, most the entire subject to be um, in focus. The Blackmagic 6K has dual ISO so I was actually at ISO 1250. Now this reduces the dynamic range a little bit but I'm in a controlled environment, controlled lighting so nothing to worry about. And then of course I had uh, the water spray. The first shot was an epic failure. I tried to do some slow motion water hitting the can kind of effect and nope, uh, it, didn't, it, it, didn't, it didn't look good. And then putting an overlaying kind of like a glass that had some water driplets kind of saved the shot in a way but yeah it was that shot was terrible now a lot of the shots were static not because i didn't want to add movement but it was only me filming i was using my left hand to spray water and then my right hand because i had the torch on so i kept doing this to try and like um imitate like a lightning like a lightning strike so to speak i had done some similar glass pouring shots in the previous monster video so my plan was actually to go and grab footage from those ones i was lazy on this shoot I'm sorry so my plan was to go grab footage from that shoot but then I just went on pixels and I actually saw some really nice um, glass pouring um, shots which I now use the only thing was that they were red so I had to change the color when I was color grading same thing with the ice breaking shots I actually have a shot like that but I lost it and luckily they had a very similar one on pixels which is what we now ended up using for the split screen the footage on the right was a continuation of all the of the previous uh, pouring shots that we used earlier and then the one on the left was actually quite a weird shot like I had no idea if it would work but I downloaded it nevertheless uh, changed the colors and by the time I put all three of them I, I, I think it. another reason why I feel like I failed on this commercial is because I feel like I went narrative as opposed to sales you know watching that ad I don't feel like I want to drink that thing it's just aesthetically pleasing you know the whole rain thing yes they come together but it doesn't sell anything. It doesn't make us want to drink it. So that's why, for, and it's supposed to be an ad. It's supposed to be a commercial. That's why I feel like I failed at this thing, woefully. But let's continue. The one thing that I'm happy with, and it's probably the only thing I'm happy with in the entire ad, is the hero shot. The last shot before the title card of the two 
uh, drinks. I think it came together quite well. I think I'm, I'm, I'm actually a bit proud of it. So for this one, I now added the LED light just to the right hand side of the cans. And then, like I said, left hand spraying, right hand doing the lighting effects. And then in the edit, I now added some overlays of fog, uh, lightning in the background, and even digital rain. And I think it really came together quite well. You know, add the sound design, which I'm going to get to right now, add the sound design. I think that's the shot that really came together well, and that's probably the only shots in the entire thing that I was um, sort of happy with. And then finally to bring it all together was sound design. So I added some sound effects of rain, thunder, ice cracking, ice breaking, you know, etc. So this really helped to create sort of like a presence, like, uh, like an immersive um, feeling. By the way, they were all from YouTube, all the sound effects all from YouTube. So sorry, I don't have much behind the scenes to show you guys, I'm sorry two hands were working I was still trying to figure this thing out and I didn't have time to start thinking about behind the scenes but the next one the next one I hope to do it properly go a lot more in depth into exactly my thought pattern and how I shot every single one and if you are interested in me doing that and also interested in working with me on it because i'll be filming it in, a, in an actual studio so you can come around um, if you're interested in that i would need 15 people to indicate in the comment section that we're interested in doing that and if we can get 15 people then i would plan to do just that if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when next I post a new video. Thank you for watching and bye.